Greetings, New Order, Allies, and RuneScape. This is another brief update coverage. Jagex's 24-hour live stream charity event, Game Blast in aid of special effect, went live on Friday, facilitating a variety of ways to donate to the organization's cause to promote well-being and inclusion for people with physical disabilities. XP increased to double for pay-to-play and by 1.2% more for free players until Monday at UK 12 noon, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. As expected, clan members and allies woke up pretty early in the morning compelled to actualize their skilling counts with warp speed. Rip was the first of Norse to claim a new preeminence, becoming one of over 80,000 men and women to seal the summoning cave. I reached new heights in defense and constitution with costless slamming and got a room with the slanderous troll in the dungeon. Jailbreak Jared Butler Devourer, release soul stealing obscure minigame minister nomad, rehire homeless dictators Hazel and Kazer, and retain psychic vampire Z Oracle and friend Zoner Inacra. Infiltrate Slisk Slayer and breach the heavily guarded vault containing the stone of Jez undetected, using your acrobatics and surveillance expertise to return to Zamorak what was stolen from him or not. In Dishonor Among Thieves, the second quest in the stone of Jez storyline, if you are most triumphant, you will take home a hybrid thieving cave that increases Drops. and notes most items stolen from Baker stalls, an upgrade to the Mask of Slisk with a 1 in 30 chance of spawning a white archer, and your own miniature clone of a homeless dictator. Resemble the soul-stealing obscure minigame minister with a non recall Nomad pack available from Sullivan's store with overrides for all styles of combat and the first running animation for 600 rune coins. Pimpers's is also available separately for 100 rune coins. The full design document for the first update to construction since the menagerie is public. I was at the southern gates of Alcarid with Azira Kingdom when Sweet Honeysuckle and Alzin cast their last logs into the fire to really take the in Sears Village. Accomplished by trade, James Carraway of Azira Kingdom was embraced as a resident master craftsman been accepting his cave within centimeters at the crafting guild. I was initially driven to skill most efficiently in the company of awesome allies, smithing and starting melee training thanks to their help. Energy increased again after solo training when we were invited to a very nice dessert of spiked chocolate river cakes at Seal's house to rejoice in his third skill mastery. We found our way into his PvP room and exhibited violent behavior fueled by the cakes in his slash group ring. He then lured us into his booby trap dungeon implying that the be popsicles. Some with visually distinguished Bots returned in greater numbers Saturday at Dragon Habitats in the wilderness. We penetrated their meager defenses and firmly planted the kiss of death to retire them for some satisfaction and a slight increase in demand for premium droppings. An unexpected person logged in and burned Ruby out with a salamander, so we followed him into the revenant niche where we could return fire. When I returned, Sin taught me the okay, stick. moves that were more effective in preventing bots' teleportation. Sin and I beamed up and drifted in pink space with my AZ and harnessing infinite rune energy from notes all around AZ and Ensign each gained a level and siphoning cosmic S hounds turned out to be AZ and daily challenge new order gathered in the presence of Zumi Uchiha master conjurer of familiar spirits to be witnesses to his ascension to master of rare and seventh skill cave we caught up with Zira Kingdom at Barrack East Bank Miss Mel added the last experience needed for her final two masteries in agility and hunter to reach the maximum total level and publicize the feat with the cave she then held the harmonic mass bonanza on the land next to the Bank. In the quiet zone of Balador Park on Sunday, we broke a we bit of old bread with Mighty King Davy of You Love Me and tossed it off at our webtoed waterfowl friend. The enlarged duck became a flyaway menace expelling Davy and Rip from Ascarnia and across Kandaran and the Voltip Hills. We regrouped at the MA Beach and it was ship with a girl duck. Twice. A surrogate duck family found local divinator Shea Tiger, a deaf at running and possessing an excellent sense of smell. My opportunistic Omni Warbeer daughter lay found high deep in an unsafe cave southeast of the Nordic settlement on Monday. Lay stayed at Nora's house near the market in Taverly to get back on her feet for a minute until I got her. Syrakian diplomat New Ralph found me entertaining interesting his ideas at the absurd fountain of justice in Sears. Sin vicious rapturously crossed over corpses to get the Ralph on the Kintra grounds. He watched the trees and leaves as they fell in the forest played by a homeless dictator. We stood up to the visible face of the warhole with heroic abs and pectorals, mindful of an inevitable fate. Beholding Zumi's survival of the hit, we were resolved to a second attempt and contested with Morigo to a sixteenth of his health aided by fame Miss Mel and Ralph of the Zira Kingdom. I was given a tour of Melody's mansion, the venue for her wedding to lay in the near future. The long blossoming garden hosts a gazebo and menagerie for exotic pets. Inside it has an altar to the cat god with the anno. Two rooms of intimate seating, the game talking heads, and the most prized costume room. Law 
Eddie will return to RuneScape from a few years of absence yesterday on the Stepping Stone of Legacy. He underwent some basic training in the OC with us at Clan Wars last night, learning the advantages of life-giving shield techniques and revolution through demonstration. Dividing flickering energies with his Ami Ajiha manifested insight into blue-haired Naruto Shippuden characters and more. We have met Stone and Cloth of key goals in the Citadel. We need a bit more timber, more precious bars, and most of metal. We will need 11 more visitors when we set for upgrades and meet the goals before Tuesday. Hi, is this Tick's first capper? Learn the truth of Uchiha in his Ami stories on the Clan Wiccan. Clan meeting tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern in the Citadel or the Blue Moon Inn. Party in the Citadel at 7 p.m. Eastern. Council meeting at 10 p.m. Eastern in the Citadel. This Saturday, we have an event with our allies, the Xerak Kingdom, at 3 p.m. Eastern, World 83. Alternate Saturday Bossing Event at 7 p.m. Eastern, World 53. Alternate Saturday Penguin Hide and Seek Event at 9 p.m. Eastern, World 53. Alternate Sunday Conquest Event at 7 p.m. Eastern, World 53. Search Party Hide and Seek Event every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern, World 53 or 41. Citadel updates on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Alternate Tuesday Pest Control Event at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Clan meeting every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern in the Citadel or the Blue Moon Inn. Alternate Wednesday Wilderness Survival Event at 9 p.m. Eastern World 53. Norse updates Thursday. That's all the activity we have scheduled for this week unless you have any requests. You can use the form or comments section provided on Norse Bowl and we will add them to our calendar in an available time slot. You can leave a message on the front page of our website by posting in our Zat chat or Facebook comments section or posting in the public forums. Post your personal aspirations and priority initiatives on the relay page or send an observation report with anything. You can always contact the heads through email and Skype. To view the client handbook or enter our regular sweepstakes, go to our client page on RuneScape. You can also view upcoming events there by logging in. Good night, stay awesome.